40 days from now, the best women's college basketball players in the country will play for a championship in downtown Minneapolis. Target Center will host the Final Four in April. Organizers held a news conference today alongside city leaders. WCCO's Ren Clayton shows us what the big event means for the community. The women's Final Four was last in Minnesota in 1995. The Super Bowl came in 2018. The men's Final Four was in 2019. This time around, circumstances of the pandemic present a very different place. The NCAA women's Final Four is coming back at the same time that our city and our downtown will be coming back in fine form. And so this helps to give us that shot in the arm that we need. It comes just as a bunch of these restaurants are opening all across our city. It comes as these mandates that we've had are all getting lifted. There's been a lot of negative things that have happened in Minneapolis that have made national headlines over the past few years. How does that kind of impact just that perception? Yeah, I mean, hopefully like this just brings joy to the city and people can kind of, we can kind of come together. You know, this is kind of a place to bring everybody together, all different types of people, different backgrounds. It was a two year planning process for the NCAA to bring the final four here to Minnesota, which they say will be in greater alignment than ever before to the men's tournament. There's particularly some opportunities they'll experience here for the first time at this final four as a result of those enhancements. Last year's women's NCAA tournament faced wide criticism for the imbalanced level of experience for the female athletes. Among the changes made this year, a 68-team tournament instead of 64. The issues that were exposed, I think it really, what it also exposed is that a, a lot of things that many of us in sport have been fighting for women and the opportunities for many years. At the Target Center, Ren Clayton, WCCO4 News. As part of the Final Four, the NCAA will partner to build an outdoor basketball court at Hall STEM Academy in Minneapolis.